I know, I know, I know. I said that my daughter's car, I said that it's finished. Well, it is. The paint's finished. Still have some additional work that needs done. One is the, the notorious issue with these four point, early 4.6s where they leak out of the intake manifold. So today I have a replacement intake manifold. Um, just came out the other day. Now I need to replace it. Came with alternator brackets, hardware kit, and the intake manifold. One thing about old cars, great, a lot of fun, but no matter how much you do to restore them, unless it's brand new, you're always going to have to fix something. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is remove the brace here, and then we're going to go ahead and start removing the plenum. Spark plug wires, we'll just, we can get by with just moving them out of the way. Once we remove the plenum, we'll also have to remove the fuel injectors, the alternator, and then there's some heater hoses and some vacuum lines and all of that. And so, yeah, we'll start with the brace. It's a 10 millimeter on the brace. I'm actually missing a bolt, so. Try and find a replacement. If not, I'll have to go get one from the hardware store. And to help speed me up, I'm using an electric Ryobi um, electric ratchet. I love these things, they're so nice.
You gotta take the upper radiator hose off. Um, kind of fill it if there's any pressure in it. Doesn't appear to be any pressure. We may leak a little bit out of freeze, but we should be okay. Serpentine belt off and at least remove it from the alternator. It's a 3 8 wrench bolt. There's 3 8 ratchet hole on the tensioner pulley. And you just pull that down and it loosens up. You can remove it. Just gonna use the breaker bar. A few moments later. Appears to be eight millimeters there and eight millimeters there. Two plugs. Just pulls up right there. Circles around and slides out right there. any of these vacuum lines try and keep a be careful of them because it is old so they get brittle Let's 
those out of the way. Nice uh, connectors. They're just so old and rotted that they're falling apart. Um, I'll have to get new ones. Five eighths and a half inch tool. So you can see here there's a leak back there and instead of fixing the leak they decided to, they thought it was the heater core or hoses from the heater core so they bypassed the heater core. So we're going to go ahead and take off the intake manifold with the fuel injectors on it, or at least try to. Let's see if you don't see anything obvious that's still connected. I think we can wiggle it out with the EGR valve still here. off um, as you can see there's quite a bit we need to clean up in there so I'll go ahead and clean it and then uh, make sure nothing falls down the intake and then we'll get the new one on all right got stuff cleaned up now I need to take off all the the sensors and the fuel fuel injectors and fuel lines and move it to the new intake
So this intake has um, different type of holes to attach this. You need to have these uh, screws that thread inside of there. Um, the other one has tapped holes. So I'm not sure if this is a cheaper intake or what, um, but that's what it is now. That intake might still be good because the issue appeared to be the Healy coil that was put in. So I'll keep it as a backup in case something goes wrong with this one. So I think what the problem is here is it looks like somebody put a Healy coil in, a Healy coil in here uh, because they probably stripped it and it's raised up a little bit. So I'm gonna grind that down smooth and then hopefully we can get a good seal in the gasket when we put everything back in. All right, let's uh, take out these little bits of cloth I put in the intakes to clean it out, to keep it clean. Try not to let anything in when you do this. Looks like it's in place. I'm gonna do it mostly by hand. Um, just put it on with this. I don't want to run it on with my ratchet, my electric ratchet, even though it makes a lot of fun and makes things a lot quicker and easier. I'm gonna do that because this is plastic and it that ratchet goes up to 55 pounds and that will potentially crack the intake so I just want to kind of snug them all first and then make sure they're tightened down where they should be it's probably leak what was probably happened is it was leaking in the back of the original intake and so they ran it down and stripped it out and then they replaced the new one because that was stripped and put the Healy coil in and that raised the back of the intake enough to keep it leaking. It was leaking pretty bad so that's what I'm guessing happened. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the heater core back in and hopefully the heater core doesn't have a leak. I'm thinking they pulled it apart because they thought the heater core was leaking and so they bypassed it. So I'm going to remedy that. Um, yeah, plug these coil packs back in. The only reason I took these apart is to get a little bit more room in the loom so that I could uh, move the loom over a little bit while I pulled the intake out. 